Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. In this one, we're going to be taking on the Halic Tree. Uh, this video is going to only cover this initial part to the Halic Tree town, Grace, and you'll have to apologize. This character, I wasn't happy with my first run of this area, uh, so I ran it a couple more times. I've literally personally jumped off a ledge to get rid of the, the extra runes that we got. Um, a few things for the setup of here then, for anybody else that may be joining for this zone specifically. You are going to want uh, some form of ranged attack, whether that's a great bow for you, strength and dex builds, or the uh, Loretta's great bow for us mages. Uh, you are going to want to have something um, that probably isn't going to be your main weapon that you can put on the... Let me just show it here. Uh, Assassin's Gambit skill. If you don't already have it... Um, I think his name is Bernal, should have either moved to or left the Volcano Manor for you by now, and his chair will sell that uh, Ash of War. I think it's like 2,000 runes, it's real cheap. Shouldn't be a problem for anybody to get at this point in the game. Uh, if he hasn't moved there for some strange reason, he may well still be at the Warmaster Shack, I guess. That's never happened for me though, so um, he'll be in one of those two places. Grab grab that skill you're gonna want it this skill basically makes us go invisible and go silent and this is going to be key to clearing out this zone so again i just want to reiterate um unfortunately i've already picked up the loot with this guy because i kind of went through and was just um trying to walk through and i died loads of times and i was like you know what i need to need to perfect this a bit better so that's what we've done so the first things first you're going to appear here when you first arrived at this zone just over the log there will be a stone sword key now I can't remember where all of the uh, all of the loot is by name like that, but I'm sure you guys will see uh, as we as you go through where all the loot is. Most of it's pretty obvious on the branches. So setting out then, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna pop our um, invisibility here. It's better to be over cautious with it. You can refresh it whenever you need to. So. Um, just top that up every every now and then, and it'll make things way easier. As you can see, these are ag aggroing on us at a far um, shorter distance, which just makes everything about this area way better. Loot on there, again, I, I apologise, can't remember what that was. Um, there's another stone sword key in the branches ahead of us, and a prattling pate. They're about the only things I can remember. Oh, and, some, and there's some ashes as well, but we'll get to those. So we're just going to remain invisible for as much of the time here as we can. To um, counteract the fact that it takes some HP, as well as a little bit of FP, I've equipped the blessed... Uh, is it due? I'll show you guys the amulet in a second, just so, just so that, just in case anybody's wondering why. Oh man, that little ledge there slays me every time. Uh, blessed you, blessed yeah, blessed you talisman slowly restores HP, and that's just gonna um, counteract the fact that we are losing a bit of HP each time we each time we um, cause this to happen. Uh, this one here, you really want to get some burst damage going on it, so we are going to go in here with Adulus Moonblade. Three should kill it, if we're quick. Here we are, good. So now we are pretty much at the position that I want to be sniping stuff from. We want to be just far enough away from these that they don't aggro on us, and uh, close enough that your ranged weapon uh, is going to be able to get a hit on them. That's going to allow us to move forward a little bit more, which is good. Um, at this point as well, uh, you don't actually need to kill those to be able to get away with this, by the way. You can uh, walk off of that onto the branch to head down that way. That one down there is the one that gives me the most trouble. So I'm probably going to die to it in this video. I apologize if I do. I'll try and uh, keep it smooth. Next up then, we want to deal with the ants because we want to be able to head up there once we, uh, once we get the chance to. bow for me does the trick uh, over where is it ah there you can't quite see it from this point on the branch come here anti ants come to me I'm gonna get you so let's get you we don't be wanting no ant like ambushes today <clears throat> no it's a waste of FP Oh well. 
No deal. They're level me. Oh no, it, I dropped off. Sod. Excuse me. No! It's gonna aggro. It's not what I want. One minute, one minute, one minute. Let's let's think about this for a second. I'm invisible, head in sneak mode. Except that. Are oh, you still gonna stay aggroed? You have to be careful with these because uh, if you're behind cover, they have like a bubble that can come from behind. Which is really weird. I don't know why they get that. Stop that. You. No. Freaking ledge saved you again. These little, like, tiny ledge things just stop you attacking sometimes. Where's that last ant? I mean, I suppose I probably could have dealt with that one earlier, but. Anyhow. Yeah. Where'd it go? There was one more. To be fair, the ants are the least normal race, so let's just um, continue across. And we want to be keeping an eye on. Where are we? Should be. A few more of the bubble blowers just across that way. There's this guy. He's not too much of a problem for us because we can sneak up on him again. Much like the last one. In fact, we'll, we'll do that now. Let's deal with you. Excuse me. Oh, my frostbite. I find it quite funny that they're all like, there's something there, but we don't know what it is. Can't fire anything. Deal with you. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. So it deals with that. Don't walk too far over there because uh, there's a big one just there and it'll start aggroing. We don't want that right now. This does, however, mean we're a little bit clearer. Should be, yeah, there. That's the one I'm after. No aggroing. Not allowed. Right then, so that will allow us to drop off, which is what we want here. No, we don't drop from there. I'm wrong. We want to go that way. So the best way to get down from here, in my opinion, most of the time, Particularly if you're doing a rerun and you want to get to the branch below, is to walk off this. Don't jump. If you jump, it will damage you. If you just walk off, it won't. Damn it, still two left. Excuse me, anti ants. I thought we dealt with most of you, but apparently I was wrong. Come here. Your aggro, his behavior is really strange. If I could trust you not to aggro, I'd leave you alive. Right, so we're going to do basically the same as we did to the last big one here. So we want to be having Moonblade ready. Uh, let's make sure. Yeah, invisibility is refreshed. I don't want an early aggro edge from you, sir. No, no, no. And I don't want to run out of FP either, so we're going to, be, we're going to play safe here. This should die in three as well, because of the frostbite. There we go. Get some loot there. Uh, and this will allow us to... Where's the little one? I want the little one. Damn it. Losers, that's what I say. <laughs> Clearly, I am the loser. I missed. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to get those early. So the corpse that is in front of those three is the prattling, uh, prattling plate. So that's probably the thing uh, you want to miss the least here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I actually didn't realise we could uh, modify the way that faces by firing stuff. And you've gone back to your original position. That's kind of handy. So we'll go and get that now. Uh, I suppose it's smoother if we go this way. Uh, yeah, we've got enough FP. Let's make sure that's refreshed. That's on. That's on. Loot just there, obviously. Yeah, works for me. 
top there for that bit. And then what we can do is run around for that. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. We'll leave that for a second. So it is there, and obviously you guys can see where it is. You can click that whenever you're ready. I don't know what state you guys will be in when you get to this point. Um, but our next part here then is going along this branch. Is this bit we need to be careful of. This will still aggro on us as we make our journey around, so we have to be careful of that. We shouldn't have to fight anything on these branches because we already cleared it. No, we didn't. There's still more. Didn't see them. Do you? I'm not staying on this branch here. Last time being shot at like that, so we're gonna just come on around this way. Pop this. I was gonna try and do it's like fire around the corner thing, but we're just gonna get into sneak mode. I'll encourage it to uh, to de aggro. And then if you really want it to die. Kills it there. There's a piece of loot there. I don't think that's a very good piece of loot. I think it's like a flower or something like this. So, realistically speaking, I would recommend leaving that alone. Stop being aggroed. Uh, the last uh, worthy piece of piece of loot is actually this one. Um, it's probably the most dangerous one to get. I think this is another stone sword key. So you want to make sure you pick that one up. So now you can pick the position that you want to jump down on. I'm going to come over this way so that I can get onto this branch, which allows me to get back to my safe little walk off just here. I'll reapply this. Deal with these. I didn't get the crit. Didn't really need it, but I'm so used to getting it now. I like that sound. I'll deal with this boy, oh! <laughs> wow, what a time for an alarm to go off! Can you please not? And then you can jump up and over the mushrooms for rattling plate. Okay, so that is the um, platforming branchy bit done for now. So what I recommend at this point is we have only got one blue flask left and that realistically isn't enough for what we have left. The painful part here is that that thing over there does a ton of damage and this is the best angle to get there from because the, uh, directly underneath and with the invisibility thing on, you can literally just run directly underneath there. So if you don't care about anything that I'll show you in a second, you can run directly underneath there, there's a ladder and that'll take you straight to the next race. However, there is a set of ashes that is up there on that top right corner, which the enemies don't like they've respawned for. I apologise for that. So we're going to go back to the Halig Tree can Canopy so I can show you guys the run. It is a little bit more dangerous than the stuff we've already been doing, so highly recommend coming down here with fresh fresh flasks as it were. So we're going to go ahead and pop this. We don't need to fight any of this stuff up here. We can just uh, switch to moon blade. Drop straight down here. Take this one out. Because of, because this is a fairly short burst type run, we can afford to be a little bit more happy with the way in which we're using stuff. And then we'll walk off here. We're going to run to the mushroom you can see ahead of me just there. There'll be loot on it. Obviously, I didn't mention it a second ago because I knew we'd be coming down this way. We can jump on here. This is where actually I like to ref. Oop, not that. This is where I'd like to refresh this. It's nice and fresh for this run in a second. Now, here is an annoying bit where you're probably going to die at least once if you make this too often. So we want to jump off the lip of this down onto here. Um, if you are low on FP flasks because you didn't rest, you have one of these. And then 
We want to run past this to the uh, flat looking mushroom here. You can see that it can't see us. Here is another good, good place to refresh this. Now at this point it's going to aggro anyway, so we really need to be in a state where we can fight. So I would suggest popping your physic, minus bonus magic and 30% less damage. It's still probably going to one shot me though if I'm not careful. I'm going to try and proc the, bleed, proc the bleed on it. Just be careful because you really don't have enough space to like... Um, oh, <laughs> you really don't have enough space to roll very much here. Um, I tried bursting it down with the Dooner's Moonblade and that just did not work for me. Um, but the, the bleed on the on the katana was just way better. So you come down this way for loot. I think this might be another Stone Sword Key. There's the ladder I was talking about. So when you run down, when you uh, would have looked across there, there would have been like a few pieces of loot tempting you to pick it up on the way down. Um, we're obviously going to have opportunity for that in a second. Ah, here they are. Here's the procession. I think these are like almost a representation of um, the ash you get because the ash is called like the procession, bubble blown procession. We're just going to like clear all these out with the Moonblade because this will work, crazily enough. Because it's slow to aggro, apparently. Luckily, you're quite blockable. So yeah, your ashes will be here. Now, you can drop off here. Ooh. To be fair, I don't really care what I get infected by. There's going to be loot acro across here, look, as I said before. Do I have those bosses? I do not have those bosses equipped. Excuse me. Just one here. Uh, so, the loot on here, pick that up at, at your leisure. Uh, just don't rest at the grace. Uh, below and then come back out even with the um, even with the cloaking ability on from the assassin's gambit it still aggroes on you I think that one's like set to be an ambushy or something like this that you know aggroes from a from a long range just to be extra friendly but um, that gets you to the to the inner grace here where I can pick up the walkthrough as normal which is good hopefully this helps you guys out and getting past the branches it's a pretty uh, tedious and tough area and I'll see you on the next video